Hi, I'm Paul Begley and my wife totally disagrees with the video I did on the Teresa Lewis execution. So, she she told me the, the actually the way it is. She just said, look, here's the real story and I gotta drink some coffee because it's this is hard to deal with. It's not hard to deal with her opinion, it's hard to deal with the fact that uh, I may be wrong. Okay, here's the deal. Uh, my wife says that Teresa Lewis died, she was executed unjustly. Her, her question is, how in the world do you execute Teresa Lewis but not execute the two trigger men? I mean, really. Normally, always, whenever there's this murder for hire situation, the trigger, the trigger man always is the one that is convicted with the murders. And if anybody's going to go to death row, it's got to be the trigger man. And in this case, two trigger men, uh, because Teresa Lewis had her husband and stepson both murdered execution style, and uh, because she was going to collect two hundred and fifty thousand dollars, and then share some of that money apparently with the the trigger man. Here's the other thing: Teresa Lewis only had an IQ of seventy two. So for her to mastermind a murderous plan and create the mayhem that would lead to such uh, diabolical uh, slaughter of two innocent people. It just doesn't seem, according to my wife, it doesn't seem like it's fathomable that she could think that up. And that they, they approached her and coerced her into this. And uh, she still went along with it, is my point. But her point is, yeah, but again, 72 IQ. You know, I mean, maybe a little easy to manipulate. And here's another question she said. Uh, and since when did they ever do this? This is precedent that you put the, you, you don't put the trigger man on death row, but you execute uh, the one who did the hiring. And guess what? It was a woman. The first person they want to make example of for this is a woman. Uh, the other thing is who's, you know, what kind of attorney did Teresa Lewis have? I mean, what kind of attorney allows their client to, to get death row when they didn't even pull the trigger. I mean, where was the plea bargain in this deal? And here's another thing. Why would you execute Teresa Lewis, according to my wife, and let these murderous uh, Islamic terrorists that were down in Guantanamo Bay, let them go free? What kind of justice is that? I mean, <laughs> and it, are we talking, is it, is it all about the money? I mean, what about the fact that some of these guys that were in the uh, in Guantanamo Bay, some of them have been released, down, got to go down to the Bahamas and some of the other islands down there, and they're stars, they're heroes. One dude got two million bucks. I mean, they're, 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 they're considered famous. Why? Because they're part of the mighty holy jihad against the Americans and against Christianity and against what we're called the infidels. That's not the whole story. The real thing is, why did this happen to her? the injustice that took place, the corruption in our uh, judicial system. Um, what's that? Oh, uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, and she says, what about Charles Manson? Remember the 1969 Helter Skelter and, and how that apparently Charlie Manson had this uh, power, this uh, spiritual power that he could override human beings' minds and create the... the uh, uh, or that they went and murdered his followers went and murdered Sharon Tate who was pregnant nine months pregnant and six other people in their homes and wrote on the, with their blood helter skelter on the walls Charles Manson never killed anybody he was not the trigger person thus Charlie Manson couldn't be sentenced to death he, I mean he couldn't be given the death penalty he didn't kill anybody but neither did Teresa Lewis. And Teresa Lewis was executed by lethal injection. Is there real justice in this world? Is America lost its soul when it comes to uh, ju you know, the judicial system? I don't know. I, I think we've lost our soul anyway in so many different areas. But that's just, you know. The whole thing is... Paul Begley's wife has chimed in, and she's saying, <laughs> she's saying, you're going to go back on there, and you're going to fix this, 
that this was an unjust execution. Now, I wouldn't have to do this, except part of me says she's got a great argument. Especially the Charles Manson thing. I mean, you, that... How do we... And um, the one that really, I think the biggest point she's got is the fact is they've never done this before. Since when does the trigger men, two trigger men, get to walk away and just spend... Now, they were both sentenced to prison for life, and since then, one has committed suicide in 2006. The other one is still there, but since when do you send uh, the person who did the hiring to death row and not the trigger men? I'm Paul Begley, and my wife has just chimed in. Have a good day.